Hola, my name is Aida Lugo McAllister, author of Aida's Kitchen a lo Boricua, a bilingual Puerto Rican cookbook, and I'm going to demonstrate how to prepare pastelillos, fried meat pies, a recipe from my cookbook. These half moon shaped pies are referred to as pastelillos or empanadillas in Puerto Rico. The most common fillings are ground beef, cheese, cheese and guava, and fish. My favorite pastelillos in Puerto Rico is the one filled with fish. And the fish used for the filling is a trunk fish. A very ugly fish, but delicious. Pastelillos de chapin. These fried meat pies are known as empanadas in other Latin countries. However, an empanada in Puerto Rico is a cut of meat that is dipped in beaten eggs, coated with bread or cracker crumbs, and then fried. So if you want a fried meat pie in half moon shape, ask for empanadillas or pastelillos in Puerto Rico. My mother always prepare the pastelillos with beef stew meat. Therefore, the meat filling in this demonstration will consist of beef stew meat coated with a thick, delicious sauce. More information. There are different brands of seasoning envelopes with culantro and anedo to add color and flavor to our dish. Like Nor, Accent, Goya, La Preferida, you select the brand of your preference. However, if you want to create your own special blend of seasoning, these are the ingredients. One teaspoon of ground coriander, one teaspoon of garlic powder, four teaspoons of paprika, or four teaspoons of ground anato seeds, a half a teaspoon of salt, I use the low sodium, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cumin. Now you can change the quantity to suit your taste. You can also prepare the dough using a food processor or an electric dough mixer. I make my dough by hand and I roll out the dough to into a six inch circle. You can purchase the pre-cut six inch dough at the Latin supermarket or you can use a six inch dough cutter. Any excess dough that is removed can be re-rolled. Before we start preparing our pastelillos, Let's go to my garden and harvest some cilantro for the meat mixture. This is the cilantro that's growing in my garden and the recipe calls for several sprigs of cilantro. Now I'm ready to go back inside and start preparing our meal. Let's start with preparing the meat filling. I purchased two pounds of beef stew meat, then trimmed the excess fat and cut the meat into one half inch cubes. Rinse the meat and place in a three quart size saucepan. Now I'm going to add a half a cup of water and cook the meat for 10 minutes over low medium heat. The meat has been cooking now for 10 minutes, so let's add the rest of the ingredients. I'm gonna start with three minced garlic cloves, one teaspoon of salt, and the salt that I use is low sodium one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, three tablespoons of sofrito, watch my YouTube video on how to prepare sofrito, and the sofrito that I prepare has culantro, three tablespoons 
of tomato sauce. I normally can my own tomato sauce. Four to five sprigs of fresh chopped cilantro from my garden. And the last ingredients is three teaspoon of my own special blend of seasoning to add color and flavor to this dish. Now I'm going to stir the ingredients. Now you can find the list of ingredients to create your own blend of seasoning on page 14 of my cookbook, Ida's Kitchen a lo Boricua, my food blogging website, idaskitchenboricua.com, and at the beginning of this video. I want to bring the liquid to a boil just for two minutes, so let's increase the temperature of my induction cooker. The liquid has been boiling now for at least two minutes. Let's reduce the heat to medium-low and continue cooking the meat for 30 minutes or until the meat is tender. Cover the saucepan with a lid. The meat has been cooking now for 30 minutes and the meat mixture still has too much liquid. So I'm going to continue cooking the meat mixture over medium heat to rapidly thicken the sauce. So let me increase the temperature. Don't cover the sauce with lid and cook until the sauce thickens. After 10 more minutes of cooking at medium heat and without a lid, the beef stew meat is now coated with a thick sauce. Look how thick. I can now say that the meat mixture is done. Let's prepare the dough for the pastelillos. I added four cups of all-purpose pre-sifted flour into this bowl. Now let's add one teaspoon of salt. The salt that I use is low sodium one teaspoon of baking soda. Now you mix all the dry ingredients until well blended. Now we're ready to add one third cup of margarine made with olive oil. With this pastry blender, you cut the margarine thoroughly into the flour until the flour mixture resembles coarse meal. going to make a small well, just a small one. Now I'm going to pour one and a half cup of chilled water gradually into the flour mixture. And you stir until a dough is formed.
I removed the dough from the bowl and placed it onto a flour surface. Now we shape the dough into a ball. If the dough is too sticky to handle, just sprinkle flour onto your hands. Let's knead the dough for approximately four minutes until the dough is smooth and elastic. Sprinkle some flour when the dough starts sticking to the surface. Do you see how smooth the dough is getting? I don't even have to add flour to the surface. I've been kneading the dough for approximately four minutes now. Let's see if the dough is elastic. Yes, it is. The dough is ready. Now you divide the dough into 20 equal parts and shape them into one and a half inch balls with the palm of your hands using a circular motion. Once the dough is shaped into one and a half inch balls, then you place them on wax paper or parchment paper, sprinkle lightly with flour. Here you have the dough shaped into one and a half inch balls and placed on parchment paper, sprinkle lightly with flour. I lightly floured my rolling pin and countertop surface. Now let's roll the dough into a six inch circle with an eighth of an inch thickness. Now let's place approximately two tablespoons of the meat mixture in the center of the circle. Now I'm going to fold the circle in half moon shape and gently press on the edges. Now I'm going to run a saucer through the edges of the dough, cutting the edges to round them evenly. Put aside the excess dough. 
let's press the edges with the tines of a fork dipped in water to seal the edges. Then you place the pastelillos on wax paper lightly sprinkled with flour. And you repeat this process for each ball of dough. I heated one and a half cups of oil in this 10 inch skillet to 365 degree Fahrenheit. Now let's start frying the pastelillos until both sides are golden brown. Now we're going to turn the pastelillos to the other side. And we continue frying them until they are golden brown. The pastelillos are done. They are nice and golden. So I'm going to remove them carefully from the skillet and place them on a plate lined with paper towel to absorb the excess oil. We are done preparing the pastelillos. Now you can make the pastelillos in smaller sizes and serve them as appetizer. I also prepare the pastelillos in advance and freeze them in vacuum seal bags for future use. On page 86 of my cookbook, you will find the instructions on how to vacuum seal the pastelillos. I cut a pastelillo in half because I want to give you a close-up view. Now the best part is to taste the pastelillos. Mm, the dough is so crispy and the meat tender very tender mm, and juicy coated with that thick sauce mm, delicious mm with a cup of Puerto Rican coffee. I hope you have enjoyed watching my YouTube video on how to prepare pastelillos fried meat pies. Thank you for watching Ida's Kitchen YouTube video. If you enjoyed this video, please share, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you would like a copy of my cookbook, please visit my website, idaskitchenboricua.com and click on the cookbook tab. Now my cookbook is a bilingual cook cookbook. If you prefer the English side, this is the side that is English. If you prefer the uh, Spanish language, then you flip it over and this side is written in Spanish. Every recipe 
has a picture. And this book consists of at least 42 authentic Puerto Rican recipes that I learned while living in Puerto Rico. Thank you.